Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. This time it's a house which I have till now ignored because you know, Parfums Vintage um, is a house which I saw as a clone house and a lot of people were talking about it last year. So I thought, you know, another another Aventus clone house, you know. So I just ignored them and um, this year I was looking at a few of their creations and I was impressed with one of them, which I'm going to review today. It's one of the earlier releases, came out in 2017, and it's called Parfums Vintage Pineapple Vintage Intense. If you go to their website, this is another reason I ignored this house. If you go to their website, their branding is absolutely awful. Yeah, Half of their fragrances are inspired by Aventus. And most of their fragrance names are Parfums Vintage Pineapple Vintage, This Vintage, That Vintage, and it's just awful and you look at the names like um, they're like vintage intense then extrade then king then king intense it's just rubbish so you know you would get confused I got confused which one I wanted to buy yeah that's how awful the branding is second is their pricing and I'm start I'll get to pricing a little later but their pricing is all over the place you know something 50 ml some bottles cost 79 some cost 89 some 99 some something else and you're thinking to yourself what the hell you know so those are the two irritating factors why I ignored this house but this fragrance I got a 5 ml decant and I given it I've given it about three wears yeah uh, there's a bit of dent here as you can see and I quite enjoyed this fragrance. This is impressive. So I thought, okay, let's do a review. But those are the two things they need to sort out. You know, if your customer gets confused because of your branding, you're basically shooting yourselves in the foot. And then your pricing. The pricing has, there has to be some uniformity in pricing. You know, if I'm buying 100 ml from the same brand, if I go to Crete, for example, and that's what these guys are copying. You know, if you buy a Crete 100 ml, most of the fragrances are in the same bracket. Uh, price range then 50 ml 100 ml you know, there's some uniformity here mm, very confusing and the third irritating factor was that when you order something from these guys you end up waiting 10 days today as i've checked today it's now down to four days for most especially uh, some fragrances are especially 10 days so it looks like they have some supply chain issues in, in this in this um, day and age when you order something from a web interface e-commerce website it gets delivered like that yeah so you're making people wait four days ten days so it's there were a lot of things which I was not impressed with but sorry I went into a rant before I even started reviewing the fragrance so let me review the fragrance now I'll do a start initial spray but it's not worth it I'll tell you why this fragrance actually starts with a whimper and ends with a bang yeah so initially when I spray this it's got this strange birchy bergamot pineapple smell which is not really very good and it's very synthetic and chemically so it's not amazing in 15 minutes it brings in sheer amazingness to the front and that's what really clicked with me because I was very impressed that when the fragrance stayed on my skin and started you know getting stronger and started projecting beautifully so what they've done is they've got pineapple and birch at the top note with bergamot so very fresh really juicy pineapple very realistic pineapple with a beautiful fresh slightly creamy bergamot and that birch initially uh, that you smell here is awful this is awful um, that birch goes in the background after 15 minutes and what comes to the top is a nice green apple and that green apple smells like a synthetic green apple. The pineapple doesn't smell synthetic, neither does the bergamot. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the fragrance remains like that. Little woodiness comes into play and that is from patchouli. The patchouli is playing a really small um, supporting role. The fragrance stays like that for about five or six hours. And I've got a six hour dry down here. And then it becomes even more interesting because there is the beautiful touch of vanilla. That's when the fragrance starts becoming slightly sweet. Yeah. And this is not sweet at all. 
It is not sweet at all. There's a lot of musk here, which is very synthetic and white, white synthetic musk, which is very, very cheap and very common in a lot of fragrances. You don't smell that here, but that musk is, there's a lot of things which are wrong when the fragrance starts. It, it is very unimpressive when it starts. So in the dry down, that vanilla combined with a little touch of rose, just a tiny bit of rose and ambergris. This ambergris, I start smelling this ambergris in about half an hour. So it's basically pineapple, lemon or bergamot, I should say, and ambergris. And it's really nice. The first 15 minutes are rubbish. 15 minutes to three to four hours, just amazing. And then four hours onwards, even more wonderful. It's a spectacular juice. And that's why I liked it. In spite of being completely unimpressed by this house, everything about this house is annoying. Um, and they should sort it out. Because I think they've, <coughs> excuse me, I think they've started as a clone house, not knowing how far they'll get to. And I think they're going very well. So they should look at these small nuances which in, in, increase uh, customer satisfaction. So, pros and cons. Number one pro, this fragrance basically is one of those fragrances that has been created to emulate the greatest fragrance craze at the moment, Aventus. But what they've done is they've brought something special to the table. Um, Aventus has musk, Aventus has patchouli, Aventus has uh, ambergris. And still, this only smells like the half of the lifetime of Aventus. Very fresh. And that fresh aspect, they've, able, they've been able to maintain it for a long time which makes it a prime candidate for compliments, which is the second one, or the first one. I should say it's a stylish compliment getter. That's number one pro. Number two pro is this will fit all bills. You know, you can wear this to work, to a date. Uh, it works beautifully in summer and winter, uh, in between months, spring and autumn. The compliment factor is gonna be huge. The versatility is gonna be huge. Uh, it's a very easy to wear fragrance and very well made as well. So those are the four pros, if you like, in one go. Now the dark downside, familiarity. I've got something which is much, much more cheaper, and it's here, Armaf Idevo. Now, this is a favorite of mine in spring. It's a very synthetic fragrance. When you first spray it, it's not very interesting, just like pineapple vintage, but when it dries down, it emulates uh, pineapple vintage intense, what it does is it brings in a lemon instead of a bergamot and it's got a very synthetic pineapple with musk, some fruits and some florals. A very nice fragrance but it doesn't last as long as pineapple vintage intense. So it's familiar to me. Uh, but yeah, I'm not saying this is exactly the same but you know, for very little money you can do the, you can get the effect of pineapple vintage intense. That's what I want to say. That's one downside. The second downside is the price point or the value for money. You know. There are a dime a dozen uh, clones of Aventus. There's CDNIM, which is my favorite clone. Um, there's also by Rosasi, which are probably half the price or maybe even one third of the price. So I cannot, I find it very difficult to justify anything from Parfums Vintage. That's the whole reason I have completely avoided this house. The price point is too much. But for this fragrance, it's okay. Just about okay. Yeah? You get, get a 50ml bottle for $79, I believe. You have to wait four days which is rubbish, uh, but yeah, it's okay, I would say. But still, you know, uh, they're selling a clone, so why not make it uh, uh, at the price of a clone? I'm sure the chemical compounds are not that expensive. Um, the other downside, I would say, is the brand in itself. It's a brand which I wouldn't want people to see. The bottle looks okay. They're calling themselves vintage. The bottle looks like the shape of a pineapple, as if they've created a brand out, in, in fact, completely tailored to Aventus, everything was Aventus, and now trying to, they're trying to do some other stuff. So that shows of a, a short, um, you know, vision, um, short-term view. Everything was pineapple, i.e. Aventus, and now they're trying to do, you know, um, Coromandel, clone, this, that, and the other. So this is a brand which I wouldn't want to be seen with. Uh, I've got uh, Alexandria, I've got uh, Dua, I keep them at the back of my um, cabinet. Parfums Vintage, in spite of paying 75, will end up at the back of my cabinet because it's just too much of pineapple. Everything is centered around pineapple. So, and pineapple, i.e. Aventus. So, it's a brand which is just, you know, those are the three downsides, if you like. 
So I've covered all aspects, I believe, age groups, you know, I wouldn't have any problems, any hesitation in recommending this to anybody. This is a good fragrance. So pretty, pretty decent um, range, I would say. 20 years to 60 years, anybody will fit in. Beautiful. It's a lovely fragrance with good, good performance. I didn't touch on performance, so let's talk about performance. Solid, really good projection, really good sillage and fantastic longevity. Uh, 12 hours minimum longevity. I would say three to four hours of solid projection. That's why it's such a, I think it will be a very good compliment magnet because people will smell you. And who doesn't want to smell a clean, fruity, fresh uh, scent? It goes in any environment. So all in all, marks out of 10. I'll give it a seven out of 10. Hope you like the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.